we must also be alert to the equal and opposite danger that public policy could itself become the captive of a scientific, technological elite. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. If you have enough data on a person, especially biometric data, and if you have enough computing power, you can understand that person better then the person understand himself or herself. And then you can control this person, manipulate them, and make decisions for them. Can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains, and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants. People will literally be part of a network. All the bodies, all the brains, connected together to a network and you won't be able to survive if you are disconnected from the net. With AI taking over many of the unskilled and possibly some of the skilled activities, then there will be people for whom there is seems to be society won't have much use for these people. We need to accept that there will be some pain in the process. I think we're going to have to think about a recalibration of a whole range of human rights that are playing out online. Individual carbon footprint tracker. Many of these things will be built directly into our, our, our bodies. That's a hostile corporate takeover of your body and a digital surveillance censorship dictatorship. President Eisenhower tried to warn us about this years ago. The hostile takeover of a, a scientific, scientific technological elite. They provide much more powerful intelligence for decision making. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? You will pull on that. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. Now that we've cracked the code of life, it will not take much longer before we can start to play God. are gaining now, especially the powers of biotechnology and artificial intelligence, are really going to transform us into gods. It's a total and complete AI takeover of every fast human life, like Harari and others have been saying. Given all the technological developments, it might be feasible, even easy, to support people, uh, even if they don't work give them a universal basic income, to give them enough food, enough medicine, and so forth. The big question is meaning. What will they do all day? And one of the answers is that they will just play computer games all day, uh, virtual reality games. They will spend more and more time playing virtual reality games that will give them uh, much more excitement and emotional engagement.